Good morning everybody, it is craft day today and today I am going to be making some dowsing rods with my coat hangers here. Uh, why buy them when you can make your own? Now I don't know whether any of you like me as a kid was just fascinated with water divining. I was from a farm in Western Australia and we had water diviners coming in to help dad find water. We'd go and find ourselves the tree sticks that we needed and we'd hold it between our hands like they showed us and we'd walk along and if it turned downwards, uh, there was water there. Anyway, I was fascinated by that then and dowsing I have been doing for a very long time, mostly with a pendulum and my intuition though. So I don't really use these, but it's a great way just to see where the energy fields start and we stop. are going to make some and we want to make them the same length so i've got myself a black texture i've got some wire cutters and i've got these horrible coat hangers that you always seem to end up a cupboard full of them but i'm going to just mark the coat hangers so i can cut them the same length oh look they're roughly roughly about 55 centimeters or something like that and i'm just going to guess i'm not going to measure this and i'm just going to mark them so I know where to cut. I'll probably need my specs in a sec because I'm blind as a bat. And then we will um, do a piece here. So let's just do that. Oh, how bad does that smell? Whew. All right, here we go. There we go. Oh my God, let there be light. Now, let's just get these little babies and they look more like tin snips than wire cutters, to be honest. So let's pause and come back. But you get the gist. We're going to cut there and we're going to cut there. And then I will be back. Right, team, I'm back. Fade to black, fade back in. And here we are. Yes, I found some wire cutters. So what we want to do here is bring that into a 90 degree angle. Roughly, roughly, they're pretty close to the same length. So this is my homemade dowsing rod. You can hold them like this, like that. You can hold them with your thumb on the top, get them out of the way, and uh, just find the best way for you. You can use these for map dowsing, you can use these for yes, no answers, you can use these for measuring energy fields, which is what we're gonna do. I'm going to program these dowsing rods. I'm going to hold my hands like that as opposed to thumbs on the top. And I know a lot of people prefer that, but I don't want to have any influence there. So I'm just going to wrap my thumbs around here. I'm going to have my elbows in nice and tight and my hands are going to be roughly parallel and about um, heart height. You want to have your hands even. So I'm going to program these for a yes and no. So I'm just, I'm not strangling these rods, okay? So I'm not holding on with a grip and they may take a little time to move, but my hands won't be moving. I'm gonna ask the dowsing rods to show me a yes. And straight away, I can see them starting to open up. So you may not, they're quite thin, so you may not be able to see that on the screen. The right one's winning at the moment. The left one's a bit deaf, deaf dowsing rods. No, there we go, we're away. So, so that's an open position that is my yes. Now, I want to see what a no looks like. Show me a no. Young rods, show me a no. You can use yes, no questions for absolutely everything from does my cat, dog, horse, guinea pig need um, supplements at the moment? Is this supplement optimal for their health in this moment? How many of these supplements do they need? My cat is missing. How far, how far from home are they? Get my words out. Are they more than one kilometer? No. Are they between 500 meters and one kilometer? Yes. Can you move faster to your end position of no? Ah, there we go. Can you see them crossing over? All right, and I got them to move a little faster. Can you show me a yes? Can you move a little faster? Yeah, there we go, there we go. All right, so we know that's cool. Isn't that cool? Just a coat hanger. I'm gonna come back and show you in another video about measuring energy fields. 
just have a think about the fact that we all live in each other's energy fields and however big your energy field is, cats and dogs, guinea pigs, rabbits, you know, whatever animal you've got, every living being has an energy field and we cross into each other's energy field and affect each other. So have a think about that. And when you find out how big or small your energy field may be, you may realize at what point you may start to be felt by your animal. All right, that is our craft lesson part one of Dowsing Rods. Have a great day, everyone. I'll be back with part two later in the week.